It's your season. It's your time. Amen. When he speaks to you, go. When he speaks to you, yes, Lord. When he speaks to you, move. When he speaks to you, go. When he speaks to you, you got to do it. His directions are scriptural. And we should, we should be like Jesus and do the same. Mark 13, 31. And then we'll move on to my next point. I only got 12 points, y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I heard that, Jeff. 13, 31, Mark. 1331. It says heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The scriptures will never pass away. You and I, you and I may, may uh, 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 go on home to be with the Lord, uh, but when we go, guess what's still going to be here? His word is still going to be here. Uh, if you if you fulfill what your assignment was in the time that God allotted you on earth, then he'll welcome you in and say, well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter into my rest. Uh, but if you leave your work undone, then you put that weight on somebody else who has to do what God ordained and designed for you to do. I don't know about you, but I don't want anybody else to have to to, to clean up my mess. I don't want anybody else to have to, to clean up what I left undone. It's, it's, it's like your children. If you if you tell your children to, to clean up behind themselves and, and you go and they haven't done it exactly the way that you told them to do it, you end up having to clean up what they messed up. You end up having to clean up what they what, what they left behind. And I don't want I don't want to leave my work behind. I don't want to leave what God has ordained and designed me to do for somebody else to do. Because now what that means is he's got to he's got to reconstruct. Not, not that he can't because he's all powerful. He's almighty. I'm just going to turn this off and go. <clears throat> he's all powerful and almighty so he can. He can reconstruct somebody and reconfigure somebody else to, to do my job. Right. But, but, but my goodness, I want him to say on that day when I go, well done. Yes. My good and faithful servant, enter into my rest. Enter into my rest. I don't want to. I don't want to leave my work for my son to have to do. I don't want to leave my work for another man to have to do. I don't want to leave my work for my wife to have to do. Yes. Yes. She has her own assignment. They have their own assignment. Yes. You have your own assignment. Yes. Good do the job that God called you to do. Yes. Do the job that He designed and ordained you yes. to do. Amen. Because Amen. it's scriptural. Amen. Amen. Third point. <laughs> Amen. Third point. Follow the Lord's directions because the Lord's directions are sure. He's he, he not, he not just sitting up in, God is not sitting up in heaven saying, um, I'm going to tell you to do this, but I'm not really sure if this is what I want you to do. Amen. That's how we are. Right? That's how we as human beings are. God is not sitting God knows exactly what he created you to do. He created, he formed you. I mean, he, 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 mm, he preordained your even existence before he placed you in your mother's womb. Amen. So he knew exactly what he wanted you to do, what he ordained you to do, what he created you to do. He was sure we are the only ones who are fickle. Yeah. We're fickle. Okay, I want you to do this. Oh, that, well, that's not working. Okay, I want you to do this. Okay, no, 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 try this, try this. Amen. No, no, no. His directions are sure. He's the kind of leader that you can follow. He's the kind of leader that you don't mind getting up and when he says, move, move. He reminds me of, of, of say, a Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King knew exactly what he was, what he was created to do. So when people began to, to, to follow him, they followed him because he was sure. He was sure that he heard from the Lord. He was sure that what the Lord was telling him to do was to bring people together, bring the nations together, bring blacks and whites together. Let's end this civil, uh, this civil unrest. Let's bring bring God's people together because we were all created in His image. He was sure of that. So because he was sure, it didn't take it didn't take rocket science. 
for uh, for Ralph Abernathy and, and and Jesse Jackson and all the other people to get on board and follow him. Amen. Because he was sure if he had been thinking, well, you know, today we're gonna uh, today we're gonna march across. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do Selma today. Uh, I think I think that's what we're gonna Amen. do. Amen. No, he was sure. He, he, he followed what was going on in civil rights. He followed what was going on in the, in the different areas of the South. And, and, and he, made a, he made a statement, we're going to sell them. And we're going to march in Selma. Because this has happened in Selma. Amen. And they win. Right? God is God. God is just, God is even greater than that. He is so sure of what he created you for that you have no need to worry. When he gives you the directive, you better know that it's the directive. You better know that it's the thing that he designed and ordained you to do, and you better go on and, and do it because he's sure, he, even if you're unsure. How, oh, my goodness. How many of you have ever been on your job and your boss told you to do something and, and you weren't sure that that was the best way to do it? I'm going to teach you. I'm a teacher and I work with children with special needs and, 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 and I know right now we're, we're preparing for EOGs and, and, and so on and so forth uh, uh, and I know that testing is not the best thing for our children. I know that testing is not the best thing for our children. I would love to set up an appointment with, with Dr. Gorman uh, uh, and ask him how many standardized tests did you have to take to get your job? How many standardized tests did you have to take in order to graduate from college? What we're doing, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting on my soapbox here, but what we're doing is, is creating a society of test takers. The world is not about taking a test. The world is about getting a job done, and taking a test is not getting the job done. That's why we have the 64% dropout rates in some cities in, in the United States. That's Okay, let me get off my soapbox and get back to my message, amen? That was a PSA. That was a public service announcement. The Lord's directions are sure. Look at verse 6 and 7 in, in Matthew chapter 21. I told you I'm a, I'm a slave to the text, so we go line by line here. Uh, the disciples went and did as Jesus said, in, uh, as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the the road. When Jesus sent the disciples to go get the donkeys, we already said that, that he had to know they were there because the scripture needed to be fulfilled. Amen. Right? That's why he was sure that they were going to be where he said they were. He was so sure that he said, go to this place Tell them this thing and bring them to me. If they ask you why, tell them because I need them. The Lord needs them. He was so sure that those donkeys were there. He even said it's a, it's a, it's a donkey and her colt. Bring them both. He, because he knew. He was sure. The disciples found things just as Jesus told them. Listen, if you get in your word, if you if you allow your relationship with God to grow and to and to develop, if you rely, if you allow the word of God to speak into your life, when God gives you a directive and an instruction, you will know beyond the shadow of a doubt yes. that God is sure in his word. And when yes. it's time for when it's time for, for that thing to come to pass, you'll see it come to pass and others will see it come to pass as well. Amen. Amen. There, there, there's going to be a time. In, in, it's happening now in, in a lot of bodies in, in, in the body of Christ. There's going to be a time in this body of Christ. We're, 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 we're not all the way there yet, but we're, we're just about there. We're getting there. there going, there's going to be a time when somebody is going to come up here to, to this altar, this, this area that we, that we deem as the altar area, and they're going to have sickness in their body. But because... The Bible says that by his stripes, right. they were already healed. Yes. When they come and we stand in our faith unto this word and we lay our hands on that person who has uh, an infirmity in their body, yes. they are going to be healed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus, yes. yes. Not because I said so, yes. but because God says so. Yes. So because God is sure in his word, I'm sure as I stand on his word. Yes. And we've got to be sure as we stand on the word of God. We can rest assured that God's directions for our life is accurate. Yes. Amen. We can rest assured. Amen. Don't don't sway from it. Don't don't do like I did and say, God, you got are you sure? You wanted me to do this thing? I, I, you know, um, 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 you start second guessing God. Yes. But God, we, we just said he's sure. Yes. 